Arenas. Hello, everybody. Oh. <laughs> what wonderful timing. And I will defend. I will defend. Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy. Thank you very much. Right. Um, yes, welcome to the semi final CCL season 41 between Trific and Store. Um, should be very exciting. A necromantic mirror. Woohoo! Um, no inducements. Chugs, that was. Thank you very much, Chug Almond Milk, not Chugman Milk. That's a vicious rumour. Uh, thank you very much for staying fantastic. Glorious. So yeah, Try has got uh, this move up edge up wolf. And Store has a couple of mighty blow wolves. And apart from that, they've got pretty much um, pretty much identical teams, right? No, no inducements. But there is heat, which... Um, Store's got 15, and Tri's got 15, so, yeah, amazing, the Trific Chasers versus Trific. Um, so, yes, worked out very well. Thematically, they've both got the same amount of guard, haven't they? Four, five, six, versus six, yeah. Pretty much identical teams, apart from Stores is a bit more rowdy with the with the mighty blows, and uh, Tries is a bit more um, responsive with this uh, this sexy sexy wolf. Right now, I shall have to change the sound to the speakers, and then hopefully someone will join. Do commentary. Hello, Stradike. It may be glorious. Undecided yet on whether it's glorious. Um, let's ask if anyone wants to come in. Go so uh, try fielding both ghouls. Also, he's got two ghouls where store only has one ghoul. So I guess the team advantage goes to try right. They've got equal guard, um, but store's only got one ghoul, and try has two ghouls, and try has essentially better wolves. Essentially better wolves. Unless they kill, unless they cast people, right? Because he's he's got okay, he's got two mighty blows. But unless they're unless they're the mighty blows doing things, that's not even that good, really, is it? Whereas the edge edge side step is really good. So in a way, try has the better wolves. Um, stores are only better if they roll better. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Chug, sorry. And 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 blitzing with Claw Mighty Blow is the uh is the only skill in Blood Bowl it's it's known. Um <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna go and get myself a cup of tea. Um so there you go. Right, be right back. This is gonna be this is gonna be a fantastic pro job here.
Good wolf, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the edge wolf is, be is the bear wolf, really, hasn't it? It's always got sidestep and it's always got agility. Whereas... Mighty Blow is just fucking dumb luck on armor rolls, really. Like, I don't know, it's... I've gone more and more off it, even though it, like, does double the chance for Chasm. What have you. Yeah, the other, the other wolf's a bit shit. But there you go. One, one wolf is the rock and the other's Jack Whitehall. <laughs> if, you, if you've seen that... If you've seen that movie, what is it? Jungle Cruise? To be honest, I thought Jack Whitehall was going to... Uh, I was going to like want to kill Jack Whitehall. I really hate Jack Whitehall. I really hate Jack Whitehall. Holy shit. Holy shit, do I not hate Jack Whitehall. But, um... He wasn't that bad when he was in a movie. So I don't know how the fuck he got the part. But, um... But there you go. I don't know, like, why on earth anybody in Hollywood would, like, want to employ Jack Whitehall. Like, this craziest... It's, like, the craziest casting probably ever. Um, yeah, maybe he did. Or one of the producers, prob more likely. <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> you know, there was probably some Weinsteining <laughs> involved, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still totally random, isn't it? But he, he was he was much less offensive when he wasn't using his own material, like, you know, when he just had to, uh, when he when he was just you know reading someone someone else's lines, he was much less offensive. So there you go. There's my review on. There's my review on that movie. Not as shit as you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> Not as shit as you would expect. <laughs> How many idiocracies would you give Jungle Cruise? I mean, it's about as fucking dumb as idiocracy. But, um... But... I mean, it was, all, it was more enjoyable than, than idiocracy, obviously. The rock was in it, so so therefore it was. The rock was in it, therefore it was better. <laughs> okay, now I don't know who Heather from the world. But there is a there was there was a red hot hottie in, in EastEnders. No, I won't I don't give know in until um, I'm victorious, and I will defend. There was a red hot hottie in, in, in EastEnders. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. That <laughs> and I will defend. That's a joke. I will defend. <laughs> oh, there you go. Shawnee went one, e one even further. <laughs> Shawnee went even further than Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in until <laughs> I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Thank you very much, Goliath. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> who's the who's the red hot in, in No, East I won't give in. Until I'm there victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Ever. This is like the most chavy looking chav ever. <laughs> <laughs> Even more chavvy. <laughs> Even more chavvy than Cat Slayer. No, she's probably not as chavvy as Cat Slayer. Pretty chavvy, though. <laughs> oh, is that who it is? <laughs> no, it isn't, you dickhead. <laughs> you made me Google it as well. <laughs> Damn you, Pedro. <laughs> Sharon Mitchell. That sounds like it could be true. Let's have a look. Mm. 
<laughs> no, that's sh no, <laughs> that's wrong as well. Um, is it not a Mitchell? Who is it? Billy Mitchell, he's pretty hot. Oh man. Pat Butcher's looking the best amongst all these. Right, I'll just Google hot EastEnders. <laughs> Lola Pierce, there you go. Well, I had no idea. No idea who who that was. But there you go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that was a lot of hard work. You bastards weren't very helpful. <laughs> Fucking heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Ross Kemp. I was a fan of Ross Kemp, to be honest. Not sexually, just thought he was good. <laughs> he got trotted, yeah. <laughs> oh, JPG. Oh, dear. Oh. The classic blitz then dodge away. Love to see it. I'm, you're here. Oh, I'm not in, I'm not in. Oh, shit, Dimmy. Oh no, I put my headset on and I'm not even in the commentary. What a dickhead. Right, there you go. Come and save me, Dimmy. Save me, Dimmy. Hello. Hello, glorious. <laughs> glorious. Um, I've actually got to load up the Blood Bowl client for the first time in. You I don't, don't have even to, I can, I can share the screen, Dimmy. Look, you can just look at oh, this. Oh, I'll do that, yeah, I'll do that. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds like a much better idea. I don't want people thinking I'm playing Blood Bowl. Yeah, God, God knows you don't anymore. I was in it. I've got, I've got a reputation to protect. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds How's like it? Heather Trot. Are you the Heather Trot of Blood Bowl? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? I missed. I like. I've literally just finished work, so I missed the uh, the initial. Uh, nothing's happened. I mean, I haven't looked at the game since <laughs> turn one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Someone's been cast. There you go. And uh, that's about all that's happened. <laughs> Timmy looks like Billy Mitchell. Oh, oh it's terrific for the store. What a. Oh, and it's sweltering heat. What a way to ruin a game. Like, <laughs> you've got <laughs> yeah. two of the best blog ball coaches head to head, toe to toe. And it's just like, yeah, whoever whoever gets more shat on at half time will probably uh, lose. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, probably. I mean, <laughs> rounding up the bananas and putting them in their cage. <laughs> oh dear, I, I don't really know what he could possibly cage. referring to. No idea. There are some caged bananas right by my side, actually. We've we've decided to cage other products as well. We've got uh, some caged tomatoes, and uh, we've also got some caged uh, chilies as well. Apparently, yeah. so yeah. None of that free range in this household, Jim. Glorious. <laughs> mm. I, I ordered a cage for Alfie as well, but that hasn't t turned up yet. <laughs> oh, dear. So, oh, dear. Store's the one with the mighty blow wolves, isn't he? And uh, yes. Trift one. Yeah. What, what, who's your favourite, Jim? I think try because like the only advantage Store has got is a couple of mighty blows, whereas. Try, you know, they've got equal guard. Try has two ghouls and an adjunct wolf, and and store only has one ghoul. So, I yeah, reckon, if... I reckon, I reckon, you know, like unless 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 store tees off on try, like they're both good at blood balls, aren't they? Like, there's not much yeah. in the So, I think I don't think either of them are going to make some horrendous mistake. Obviously, they could do. Um, Does anyone know the head-to-head -head between these guys? Like, I, I don't ever remember them playing. They must have played each other at, at some point. No idea. I do remember Storr's movement up wolf is actually movement down as well. So <laughs> Yes, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's deceptive, oh, isn't Oh, dub skulls. Whereas tries is actually plus movement and plus agility. <laughs> yeah, and sidestep as well, which mm -hmm. is pretty nice. Yeah, it's a pretty great wolf because it is actually movement nine. Whereas 
the, the mighty blow ones might not really have mighty blow, might they, if they don't roll well. <laughs> That's the problem with mighty blow. I mean, by the time, like, there's there's so many good skills that you can take other than mighty blow. Like, by the time you've got them all, if it hasn't rolled mighty blow, it's not even worth recycling, is it? It's like... Yeah, exactly, yeah. They, they love blood step, don't they? And it's like... Yeah. That's, people always say about recycling wolves, and I'm like, nah, a, bl a blood step tackle wolf is a fucking great wolf, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, and like normally you got like dirty players and stuff that do the banging and like you can always go for a banger white if you want one. Yeah. Speaking of banging, do you watch uh, do you watch EastEnders, Dim? I, I I haven't watched it in years, mate. Like honestly, why? What happened? Did they Nothing. bang on EastEnders? Oh, right. Nothing. We were just talking about. We were just talking about all the hotties like Heather, Heather. I don't somewhere. even know who Heather is. How bad is that? I don't watch TV, Jim. I, I just. It. I just watched Twitch, really, to be fair. Yeah, no, I don't watch TV either. But uh, I, I did see that there was a red hot eye, a red hot hottie on it a few years ago. It was literally like nine years ago when she was on. In fact, ten years ago when she was on. I, <laughs> so, I watched it. But for me, that's recent I because I don't watch TV. <laughs> yeah, like I, I watched EastEnders when Danny Dyer was in EastEnders that was like and like to be fair only like the beginning bit because after a few weeks it got a bit stale it was like all right mm -hmm. there's only there's only so many times you can see he's like stone cold stare and you know, <laughs> pretend, all right mate all right I watched, it, I watched it when Shane Ritchie was on it which is fucking even older oh isn't happy it? moon what a hero <laughs> cats later yeah <laughs> what a pair what a pair and yeah, those were the glory days. I mean, the glory days were Phil and Grant, right? Wasn't it? And then when yeah. Grant went off to do his uh, military shit, it was a uh... yeah, Phil and Grant. Although yeah. I do, I do like a bit of Ross Kemp on gangs and uh, all that as well. I don't mind that. Yeah. <laughs> I watch that on YouTube every now and then. Did the prison <laughs> <as> well. Mm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It looks, it looks like Trific is doing his. Classic, just dice my way to victory. <laughs> well, I don't know. Storm Sto made a big made a big cast there. He cast out one, the guard ghoul. That's a huge cast from. Uh, that is pretty from nice. Storm, so, Gary on, Gary on got get banged on Gary on Jerry on or whatever <laughs> Rick calls him. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone calls him Jerry on. Is that Rick? It's is Rick. It? <laughs> yeah, it's a bad <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Steve Owen. Yeah, I like Steve Owen. Yeah, Martin Kemp. Love a bit of Martin. Uh, oh Kemp. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. He's uh, deceptively attractive, isn't he, Martin Kemp? Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, well, when in Rome, if no one knew about it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, but yeah, like hit that Saskia, wasn't it? He hit Sas Saskia on the head with the ashtray, wasn't it? In the uh, was it in the the underground club thing? Was it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I never paid that much attention to it, to be honest. Oh, I used to love it, mate. That's all I used to watch when I was a kid. East uh, That was back in the day when on a Friday night you had to sit indoors and watch Top of the Pops with your mum. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Like my brother and sister were going out smashing up Essex, and uh, I was sat there watching Top of the Pops with Mum. <laughs> oh, Gary's in chat. Is it Gary or Jerry? And <laughs> it's definitely Gary. On it's definitely it's be, Gary. Hasn't it? There'd be two hours if it was Jerry. And... Wouldn't it? I mean, I mean, he's Canadian, isn't he? So it could be like anything, really. Oh, one in nine. But it'd be, it'd be two hours if it was Jerry. And... Wouldn't it? I, I, mate, you're talking to the wrong guy about grammar. Like, honestly, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a no Greek myth titan. Blue. There you go. Oh, is it? Well, that's what is it? Oh, baby. One in nine, one in nine, one in nine. <laughs> now, uh, I think there might be dice on the ball here, Jim. I'm not sure. <laughs> but he hasn't got tackle on that wall. He has got tackle on that white, so there's a couple of GFIs, I think. Is it even in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is double GFI if he wants to go with a tackle white. Mm. Oh, I guess he just. Yeah, he might just be right. It. I don't know how you pronounce it. Let's 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 try and find out. <laughs> this is much more interesting than this match. Sorry. I don't know. I think Stor's going to sack him here. <clears throat> he just has to twat that white out of the way, and then he's got guard on the ball, and then he's got a tackle mighty blow wolf right there. Mm. J as in jam. Jam. Ear as in near. Ah, 
in about. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone's having you one, mate. Someone. Oh, nice. What's <laughs> that? Girian. 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 Oh, that sounds ridiculous. Doesn't it? Yeah. Why has a Canadian got a Greek name anyway? Like, what's that about? No, oh, he's a fucking nerd, isn't he? <laughs> it's a big fucking nerd. <laughs> Why don't people just call themselves by their real names, like Jimmy and Dimmy? Do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's so much easier. Yeah. Wow, was there not, a, was there not just not a cage here? No, they, like, basically, Triff rolled horrendous dice, so... Uh, before he moved the ball. Like, the, oh. the yeah, the screen was based, but then he... He won in nine the block, re-rolled it, got the push, and then didn't get the knockdown. So then he tries to dodge off, and he won in nine the dodge off. So basically, there was some turn ordering issues, but we didn't want to mention that because right. uh, this is high quality blood bowl at its best. But it is, yeah. These are the two <sighs> of the best players in all of CCL, if not the world. They would never make a massive mistake. It's like it's so easy, isn't it? You're like, oh, like this is only a one in nine. Like, I, I obviously I know what it feels like. You you really hate doing it, but I don't understand why he did it before moving the ball. I guess. Yeah, he probably wanted like the payoff of being able to know whether he's got the knockdown, the armor break, all that sort of. Yeah, malarkey. that's the thing, but... isn't it? It's not. It's not necessarily a mistake. There's just pros and cons. It's and it was pretty horrendous. Wrong. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I think he rolled two one in nines in three blocks, like three two D blocks. So that's uh, pretty shocking. Mm. I mean, this isn't terrible for. I mean, that Adji Wolf is like a two plus three plus two plus away from back having the ball in his hand. So it's not. Yeah. It's awful not, for try. It's not awful, but he he's got four players to four over here. So that's that's like. Not terrible, but also not great. They've got equal numbers here. It's, it's a bit dodgy. It's a bit fucking dodgy. I mean, this this reeks of perfect eight turn stall, doesn't it? It does, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you, you do your best. You sack your opponent. You get him in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> the bastard just pulls off a three plus, four plus, six, <laughs> six plus, like, and he just walks it in on turn eight, and you just got it. Yeah. And then sweltering heat kicks in, and you lose half your team. <laughs> That's, yeah, uh, yeah. It's looking actually as if. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's looking as if uh, store has absolutely zero chance at all right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's the thing with like there's there's two things that I love about uh, going first, like uh, in Chalice especially. Is the first one is the re rolls. So on your drive, if you're trying to score, you can use the re rolls. Like whereas if you're attacking in the second half. You've got all that kick equity nonsense that you have to worry about. Yes. So, and then the, the other thing is, is obviously because it's sweltering heat. So, you want to score on your drive when you've got 11 players on the pitch, and then hopefully heat just wrecks your opponent and you can uh, walk it in or stop him really easily. Like. Yeah, absolutely. I always, I always receive on this heat. And if I spot that there's heat. Yeah. Because yeah. I back myself to score 11 versus 11, whereas, okay, you can benefit from heat. But also, you can get totally fucked by heat. <laughs> it's it's awful, isn't it? I, I I think as much as like people say rock and all that, I actually think heat is the worst kickoff event. I mean, like sometimes it just doesn't do anything, does it? It's like you completely like irrelevant. But then there are, there's just those one or two games where you are shafted beyond belief. Yep. Ah, so he's going for the wolf. Is it though? No no side step on the wolf, and that's a tackle mighty blow here as well. So no armor break. He's actually done pretty nice. Oh, he rolled the one on the pickup ball, that's stupid. Yeah, terrible play there. <laughs> terrible play. But yeah, he's got this wolf hemmed in. And then obviously the stun on the other wolf made it a lot easier for him to defend. Yeah, I mean he's still giving off the 3 plus 1 D with tackle, but I mean we, we can forgive that, right? Yeah, and but I think Gage Store's just going to try and collapse in on him next turn. Because if Storr gives himself two turns to score, the reroll that'll be enough for him, won't it? I think. Yeah. I think he might play a bit more <laughs> conservative and just try to get that two-turn chance. I don't know though. Who's to say? I don't really know how Storr plays that much. Uh, I don't really know how Storr plays. I watch him all the time, but I've got no idea what he's thinking. <laughs> Brilliant. Like, he's normally just memeing hard, isn't he? He's normally just <laughs> chatting at absolute whatever. <laughs> Yeah, but like you know, like Cruz would definitely go for like the safe play, and then yeah, yeah, himself would, scoring yeah. in two, and Rick would definitely go for the ball sack. 
Yeah, Rick would be rolling four plus, five plus, like, and he'd be a, he'd probably make it as well. To be fair. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. The odds are never that bad, are they? When when. Well, I mean. Players. Uh, really, Jim? <laughs> no, I mean they're not. Then okay, I mean you'd be bad if they were always terrible, wouldn't he? But they're not always terrible. No, they're, 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 they are like. I mean, like. He Rick. What I say about Rick, Rick will win games that other players won't win because something will happen, but he'll also lose games that other players will draw. Like it's, yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. So like Elliot and Rick are great examples of the opposite of each other. So like Elliot won't win games that Rick would win, and Elliot wouldn't lose games that Elliot that, that Elliot wouldn't lose games that Rick would lose yes. just based on their styles and stuff. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that assessment. Yeah. And it's easier to look at the. Uh, it's easier to criticise Rick when he does something that's... mental. Yeah, when he does something mental yeah, that, that it's fails. Probably a word, Jim. <laughs> whereas, mental. Whereas, whereas if you do something like just boring and safe, it's harder to say, "Oh, well, that's a shit move, isn't it?" Because you should have done something not boring and safe. It depends where it is in the turn and how important it is and all that sort of thing, right? Like... That you can starve yourself out of a game by not doing anything, you know. Like it's you can. But is... that, what I'm saying is that's harder to criticise, isn't it? That's the thing. So like it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was guilty of that versus Ducky. Like I should have been way more rowdy with my wizards, and I wasn't. And he just walked it in past me, and it was quite embarrassing in the end. But uh, you live and you learn. <laughs> well, you live at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. I've just fallen off my chair, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you might be right on that one, Jim. <laughs> oh, I haven't learned anything for fucking years. Oh, there's Ooh. someone died. Is it anyone decent? It, it's a wolf. Is it dead, dead? It's really nah. regen. Wolves always regen. Wolves have inbuilt perfect regen. Oh, look, he, he sucked the ball as well. And KO the wolf. What, so he did it with a. with a. 1D <laughs> on the white, yeah? Yeah, he did the white 1D. The one that I called? Was that yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Maybe he did a 2D. I don't know, I wasn't watching. No, I was talking nonsense about it. <laughs> I, was, I was doing screenshots from Friday Night Stand for. <laughs> what a casting team we are. <laughs> Brilliant. Neither watching the game. Woo! It was a one day power, thanks, Bazaar. I mean, this, let's be real, this is just eating into everyone's storybook brawl time, isn't it? I'm not right. <laughs> what are we all doing? We could be watching storybook brawl. We could be playing or watching storybook brawl right now. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious your comment in Discord earlier when they were saying one of the uh, characters' uh, win rate was slightly low and it was something to do with um, like everyone just. Trying to spin. Oh yeah, it was Merlin, wasn't it? Merlin's win rate's lower because <laughs> yeah. no one's buying potions. They're just spinning proof for King Arthur. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I yeah. was like, that's actually probably the reason as well. Yeah, it really, it really probably was. Yeah. yeah. Ah, easy as you like. Look at that. Six plus five. And he gets the tuddy. Is what? that eight or is that? I think you'll have a two-turn chance now. Uh, store. Yeah, but no rerolls. Uh, who needs rerolls, Jim? Where we're going, we don't need rerolls. Or oh, uh, yeah, the game. Like, what's the heat there? Only one for store. <laughs> Check the little heat box on and try for me. Oh yes, yeah. Oh god, look at this. We've got a guard zombie and a block zombie out. And for try, we've got his other ghoul out. So no ghouls. No, I always thought that boy had no ghouls. Yeah, the hit, the, the the heat kick try right in the ghoulies. Hey, you guys! <laughs> oh, no, that's Goonies. Sorry, Jim. Sorry. That's Goonies, yeah. I got it, got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> At least we got to say, he say, hey, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> that could be a sound effect right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, huh. the G in Dimmy stands for <laughs> Dimmy Goonie. <laughs> wow. Did you just say the G in Dimmy? Yeah, Dimmy G. It's Dimmy G. G oh, for right. Goonies, I was like, there's definitely no G in Dimmy, Jim. 
<laughs> there is though, there's Dimmy G, isn't there? Yeah, well, Dimmy G, if you ask Rick. <laughs> Hello, Dimmy G. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. He was he was closer than any of us to getting it right, wasn't it? Gbo. Who would have who would have who, who, who who's giving you this information though? Because uh, Wikipedia is a hundred percent accurate. I can tell you. Oh wow, Jim. No one uh, ever told a lie on Wikipedia. Yeah, that's uh, almost as uh, factual as uh, Reddit, I believe. Yep. Though Abraham Lincoln did say, don't believe everything you read on the internet, so... You know. Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he was alive when the internet was around. Yep, that's the joke, Dimmy. <laughs> <clears throat> Who is Abraham Lincoln, anyway? <laughs> he was, I don't know, he was in... Uh, he was in Simpsons, wasn't he? he was, no, he was, in, uh, he was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, wasn't he? Oh, that was a quality film. I love the song at the end of that. What's the song at the end of that? Yeah. Um, Something about rock and roll. God gave rock and roll to you. Yeah, what a tune that is. Yeah. I used to sing that when I was a kid. Like, I used to love that film. Yeah, it's a pretty good film. Yeah. <laughs> he was the first tall hat wearing chore. <laughs> there you go. Who, Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Was he the blue one or not? Because <laughs> Apparently, you should only have blue chorfs in your team. If they're not blue, they're wrong. That's true, he's a blue head. I think he fought against the uh, subjugation of blue heads. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, anyway. <laughs> oh, you, watch this, you watch this kick go straight over to Thor's left hand side. This is. Yeah, this Why is, is all in. He's got a goal in, though, hasn't he, to force through the quick score? Has, has he left a zombie back? Has, a, has he got a goal? Has Thor got a goal? Oh, yes, yeah. He's got yeah. a goal, yeah, he's got a pebble grinder goal. If this was me kicking, this would be an instant touchback. <laughs> yeah. Into, into thrown rock to knock over that flesh golem on the side there. That and if it was <laughs> me receiving, and if it was me receiving, the ball would be fucking here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it would be a thrown rock to, to the fucking fo forward, forward yeah. left wolf. Yeah, pitch invasion, stun goal. Oh, right, oh, right, right, that would work oh, as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. I swear Trific has hacks. Like, I swear he has hacks. Can mm. he one turn? I, not without sidestep, no. It's well, certainly him. not with not setting up for it. <laughs> like, no, if I he mean, set like, up for if, it, he could if have he been. had sidestep, he might have been able to do it from here. I doubt it. Just saying. Just quiet. I doubt it, because he'd have to go an extra one forward, wouldn't he? And it's not set up yeah. for it. What a load of BS this is. Store, store is probably comically slapping his fire like a mm. in his pant in his, what are they called? Hoda ladens or whatever they are. <laughs> Lederhosen. Lederhosen, <Lederhausen>, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Doesn't even break armor. Is it he's worth quite a the meme store, isn't he? He is mate, yeah, he's uh, he's actually hilarious. He is, which uh... is really surprising for a German because uh, Yeah not like a crow is it? <laughs> yeah like they don't do human do they? They do exceptionally good flat pack houses, but uh, and they're very efficient, always on time. Yeah. What about Germans? It's true though. They are there, but they're nice they as well. Crazy. Yeah. In Germany, my dad says Germans are nice in Germany, but if you ever meet them like in France or Spain, or they're, they're, they're like they're worse than the English. Oh look at this! Oh, this is a try game. God. Holy fucking uh, I, shit! I, I, I guarantee there's a GG drops in chat right now. <laughs> well, that is wow. horrendous. Thank you, Blood Bowl, wow. for uh, spoiling this semi final. Yeah. So, is is Davo in the semi final? Is it Davo versus Sindane in the other semi? I'm not. I think so, yeah. I think Sindane's got like Zons or some shit as well, so he's absolutely. No, he's got Birds. Oh, Birds, Bert. even worse. <laughs> I knew it was something that would never win Chalice. Well, they have one, Chalice. Yeah, never um, again, though. No. Wasn't it against you? No. no oh, no, that's Norse. Birds beat Ducky, bizarrely, in the final. Ducky had a monster org team and he lost to Birds because he got the, 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 the pants diced off him. That's what I was trying to say. That's so, easy for you to say, Jim. <laughs> yeah. So I guess Sindane might dance the, dice the pants off of Dance the Oh, my God. I can't way, fucking dance fuck Dance the pants off Ducky. Come on, Dance off.
to see who wins. That's the only chance he's got to win, really. So he might as well. win that a hundred percent. Like if, if only Chalice was a dance off, I'd be like the reigning champ, and there'd be there would be no others. I got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> Let's make a tier list of EastEnders actors based on their attractiveness. That is a good idea, Shawnee. That's going to be more interesting than this half. That is a fucking good idea. Right. I reckon Pat Butcher's got to be top right. She's got to be S tier. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. But then we have got the we have got the extra one, which was even better, which was the uh, I can't remember. I literally can't remember already. Heather Trot. Heather Trot's probably S tier. <laughs> Who the hell is Heather Trot? I don't Google even know it. that. Is. <laughs> Google it and you'll find out. I'm, I'm not going to start Googling that stuff because if they ever sees my computer, then I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> it's okay if you just search for the name. That's not going to be bad. You're not like, like searching what's for that, Heather what's Trot. What's that stupid film that HDK, HDK tried to get everyone to search for this film and it's like really racist and homophobic or something like oh that. Oh god, I don't know. Let's not let's talk let's not yeah. talk about that, please. <laughs> no, let's talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> let's not Pauline Fowler Yeah, what a minx. What a minx Pauline Fowler was. <laughs> oh mate, yeah. Ian Bill. What a oh four. Stunner. <laughs> I've got nothing left, Jim. I've got nothing left. <laughs> oh dear. Jesus. Oh, that's that's sad, Stradik. It's 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 a it's a British treasure. It, well, wait, he's never seen EastEnders. Yeah, it's a East British. EastEnders. Just, I mean, I never watched Corey, but I know EastEnders was far better than Corey. Yeah. And Emmerdale. Wasn't Emmerdale like the small town in England where they have plane crashes and that like every week? It was Emmerdale Farm, is what it was, right? And then they uh, wanted to rebrand it. Because it sounded too, like, small and shit. So then they had a plane crash and kill everyone, and then rebranded it as Emmerdale. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> who, like, who gets paid for that? Do you reckon some geezer was just like, what is the most ridiculous thing I can think of that I get paid for? Like, maybe he was just memeing, and, just, and then, like, and then when they actually ran it, he was like, oh, my God, they ran it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do feel, I feel like that has to be the case with some scripts in, like, Hollywood. Like, how the yeah. fuck is this made, as, like, not as a joke? Some some writers just really bored, and they're like, "What is the most outrageous thing that I can get away with and convince people to film?" Yeah. <laughs> and it was Emma the Hell rebranding <laughs> with a plane crash that wipes out a whole community. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, Pedro. Yeah, if you miss the season of the trot, at least you know <laughs> he'll just think, "Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! I better start, better start eating some burgers here." Oh my god. <laughs> I want to keep Timmy interested. <laughs> I'll have to order some kebabs. <laughs> Ooh, I do like a kebab me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna i I'm gonna like eventually open my own kebab chain called Dim Kebab. Yeah? Gonna, yeah, I think so. People might think it's Chinese though. Well, because they dim some noodles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could call you could call it some ding one, <laughs> some dim one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, there you go. That's my contribution to the commentary. <laughs> Keep cutting out, Jim. All I, all I can hear is woo. Yes. And then you cut out, I, and then, my voice is cutting out. And then, it, and then it's like, oh. My voice is cutting out. I've turned into Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Oh, mighty push. Stand firm is start. Right. I've sorted out stand firm anyway. That's good. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Have you put your bets on Blitzpit, by the way? No. Uh, I was. I just wanted to know if you're backing yourself. <laughs> what are I fucking shite back myself? Yeah, I'm not backing you, Jim. Not this <laughs> time. Not even this with time. a buy, and even if I win the first round, there's no way I'm winning the final against uh, 
Coleon Zorks or PCs Dwarves. Coleon? Like, have you played him before? Yeah, I think so. He's a mad bastard, isn't he? He is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like we let one? the CVVC team do the evening news. Thanks, John. Have you seen uh, Have you seen Dio's group? <laughs> no, I haven't. No. I think uh, kidanix has been brainwashed by Dio because like it's ridiculously Dio favoured. Disgusting. Yeah, it's, 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 there, there needs to be an Inquisition or whatever they call it. <laughs> Inquisition. Inquiry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. well, last time I did Blitzbit, I got to do it with Shawnee. <laughs> All right, and what about the commentary? Oh, did you, you? I sent you the intros that he was doing, wasn't it, with the uh, <laughs> Shawnee Mezzo? <laughs> <laughs> and the Dimmy Fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do I remember that, yeah. Yeah, well, what a guy Shawnee is, what a guy. Great hair, great hair. Yeah. Although I think he's doing the old uh, Gareth Bale man bun thing where he's got a ball patch, noticed it, thought, oh, I'll grow my hair long and have it in a bun. It, so does, no one knows. it, it do be like that. Yeah, no one knows I'm going bald, but really we all know. <laughs> Shawnee, couldn't, Shawnee couldn't have that, could he, after, after how much he's ripped the piss out of everyone for being old and bald. You know, he's got to do everything he can to protect his hair rep. <laughs> Even if it's a fucking man bun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's pretending to be full, uh, what's the word? What's the geezers with the woolly jumpers and the bicycles? Hipsters. Yeah. He's pretending to be full hipster, but in reality it's just he's going bald. Yeah, it's just a, it's just, it's just a desperation play <laughs> to salvage his hair. Legitimacy. He's even turned vegetarian just to cover up its origins. Oh, he's gone fucking vegan. Yeah. <laughs> almond milk, isn't it? Chug almond milk. That's where it's come from. Yeah. <laughs> it's all I have left. Oh, he's going for the quick score. I like this. I like the strat. If he yeah. gets away with it, I don't think he's going to get away with it. I mean, it's hard. But if you, this is a huge dodge. If you can get this dodge in, and then he's got guard in there, and that's helpful, isn't it? Well, that tackle wolf can get round the back, can't it? Oh, where's he going? He's gonna he's gonna blitz the blitz the ghoul, and then he assists this one as well, isn't he? So that's pretty sick. Wow, Jim, you're not just a pretty face. No, not even that. Jim Shard. Why do you keep saying Jim Shard? That does my head in. I don't know what it means. Because the the text to speech lady when Jim Sad was entered. She used to say Jim Shard <laughs> for no apparent uh, reason. So every time you say Jim Shard, it's, you're basically saying Jim Sad. Yes, like the the emote Jim Sad, yeah. Yeah, I use that Jim Sad all the, all the time. I just use Jim Sad and Dakar, like, completely <laughs> out of context all the time. And it's one of the most fun things that I do with my day. Like, <laughs> when I'm working away, I'm just like, Dakar, Sad. Jim Sad, Dakar. <laughs> I love uh, like shouting out in people's chats when it's the most inappropriate time to dacker. I, I just inappropriate, not inappropriate. So I'm being corrected by Mrs. G. Well, I'm, um, I'm glad to hear it. Not the correction, although that's good as well. I'm glad to hear that I bring a bit of joy to your life. With oh, that. it's hilarious, mate. Your your remotes are the most fun to mess about with. The the high elf ha <laughs> is surprisingly like fitting for many things that happen in Blood Bowl. Thanks. Right, it's uh, it's it's a, that that high elf R is a stroke of genius. <laughs> I mean, it's not the Nurgle fart sound emote. Like, let's not go that far. No, yeah, but, that's uh, good in that one. Yeah, surprisingly, my idea, Jim. Yeah. Well, that's the Nurgle one, mate, was Elliot's idea. That the sound was my idea. Yeah, it was really, really good idea. And uh, he's made loads of money out of it. I've made nothing out of that. Just uh, <laughs> if Elliot's in chat. Just quietly. Uh, it just uh, <clears throat> you know. Right, so what is what is what is Try gonna do here? One D this? Is he chaining him out? No, you can't even chain him out of range, can he? Uh, I mean he could you could chain him back one, but yeah, he's probably gonna have to Yeah, this is this is this is a good effort by store, isn't it? Very good. 
Yeah, and the way heat works, as we all know, is it's going to swing completely the other way because Stall will get all these guys back and Tri will be absolutely shafted. Well, it should, yeah, it should, it should swing back in that these guys don't have to roll, so these are definitely back. Yeah, but in reality, it'll be the other half of Stall team <laughs> that's missing. <laughs> yes, it could, that could happen. <laughs> it is random, so that could happen. So does that mean that Stall rolled like six ones out of like... 12 dice or something. 11 dice, uh, probably 10 dice, yeah. No, probably 11, because he had, he had a full team, didn't he? Cause it, it so just... half is, and it is just a 1, isn't it? Like, it has yeah. to be a 1. To... Oh my god. Yeah, so he rolled 6 out of 11. No, 5 out of 11. 5 out of 11, of course. Oh, here we go. After no getting... blitz. After oh, getting, uh, after getting rioted so he couldn't score at right, all. Okay. It's push. Oh, so you can push him back twice, just with the 1D, and then into the uphill, and then if he gets the push here, which he does... He's out of range. He's out of range, and Stor has to try and push him, and also he actually gets to hit him with a fleshy here, maybe. I mean, Stor's pretty decent, isn't he? I, that's like a 1D, though, isn't it? Because the 2 got... No. Yeah. Mm. Being uphill, so he's probably not going to hit him. <laughs> yeah. But he might be well he can't he can't chain him with him so I mean if he No he can't can he? Uh well, he might be able to chain him out yeah, he, he could potentially chain him through the fend guard guy. Like if he knocks over that white hmm, he could chain him out the other way. But I mean, I mean that's I mean he like can't chain him through the through the fleshy, that's what I mean. So like, yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. the fleshy didn't have stamp firm, he would have probably taken the hit, just so that he couldn't get chained, you know. Yeah, he just goes to the push. He needs to deal with that, because that's a 4 plus dodge off tackle. I guess he's oh, just, not... yeah, he's, he's just going to punch, and then obviously get pushed every time. As you always do, like, against these fuckers. Um, oh, I hate it, mate, I hate <laughs> it, like, it's so unbelievable. It's amazing You're... that every time you just need to power them, you fucking fail. Yeah, you like, you can have wrestle time. as well, and like, it's, uh... so he's gonna one D blitz the wolf. With he's gonna the two D. He's got a zombie, so he can two D. Just two D with the wolf. The wolf. Okay, right, oh, he's got seventy five percent dodge, but if he makes it, and he knocks do down this wolf, then take... he can stall easily. I guess you want to. Uh, what stall? Does he want to stall? I well, guess he can't score, so. <laughs> But I mean, like, yeah, I guess he's scoring the turn after that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he'll probably have to score the turn after that. Okay, he is going to do the 1D. This is what I would do, yeah. But who's to say if it's right or wrong? Well, judging by that. Now it's a <laughs> massive 1 in 9. That is the same size as every other 1 in 9. <laughs> yep. And it's old. Oh, he actually rolled a three. Is this Blood Bowl, Jim? Wow. Is this actually Blood Bowl? So there you go. Pay off for not doing the four plus dodge. I wouldn't do the four plus, no. But it did cost him a reroll. And his kick equity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't score this house in a Super Bowl state KO, yeah. <laughs> Hello, did the Minotaur. Not playing Blood Bowl, no. Just. Just commentating on it fantastically well with Dimmy. We've both been 100% concentrated on the game um, and, you know, giving fantastic insights. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So, Trific. Does Trific go for the, the 4 plus 3 plus dodge to 2D the ball? Probably. I don't want to hate it. The double GFIs, and then fourth. The double, the double. Get the AV break, um, and then win. That seems like a try thing to do. <laughs> yeah, you forgot dead werewolf is dead. No regen. <laughs> is he going to get the assist in? That's the question. He's not. Oh, no. He might just blitz with a wolf and tag, which seems pathetic, but there you go. Oh, uh, I wouldn't put it past Truth being pathetic. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, Truth doesn't really care, does he? He kind of wants him to score, probably. Oh, so White's assisting the double GFI. Okay. Yeah, so at least he's got it tagged if he fails. Okay, so that's why he, that's why he moved that one in, because the, the White was... Oh! Well. Oh! Yeah, Easy. One more go at it. Is that a GFI? It's, it's another GFI. Wow, he rerolls the initial hit. Yeah, avoid the GFI. Save himself the GFI, and you were right there. It is, a, it is an armor break into a removal, so. Yeah. Yep, store G is fucked. GG. GG! So, is it possible to drop GG twice in a chat? I don't know. <laughs> it is, yeah. Store's got to do it. He's got a chance here, though, hasn't he? Three plus, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so three, four, four, three, two, two. Easy. A GG can't save him here. Or you could even blitz him, right? You could blitz the wolf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But you'd need a power. I guess it's in the same kind of. Hmm. Oh well, he was just failed. I didn't roll the three. Yeah. Oh, instant one in one in nine. But what a sad game. What a sad. One in sad nine. Game. Like, it wasn't even a one in nine. It was like, it was like a one in eighty one there because the armor roll. Yeah. No, no matter what he did, was just doomed. We were hoping for a Lola Pierce, and we got a Heather Trot. <laughs> S tier. <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking tragedy. <laughs> what a great song that is, by the way. It is, yeah. You know, steps. Yeah. It's probably my favourite step song, in fact. Glorious. Glorious. Oh. There's a double skull to make the dice look somewhat even. Maybe shouldn't have re even re rolled that, right? With only two re rolls left, like. Does it really matter? Maybe not. Maybe he shouldn't have re-rolled that. Like, I guess it, at the moment he thinks he's won. And probably Star thinks he's won as well, and he probably has won. Yeah, I think he has. Like, without like, divine intervention. But I think that was probably a double skull that he probably, you know, maybe should have eaten overall. Yeah. If you're being hypercritical of giving you the absolute best chances to win the match. <laughs> Try a dodge once. Yeah, hello, Star. <laughs> it is pretty much over, isn't it? I think uh, I think Elliot actually called Try a favourite to win the whole lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a looker dog, isn't he? Which is important. I mean, in this particular one, he has been, yeah. <laughs> is, but I, I think overall, I think his team was better overall than uh, Star's, to be honest. But just due to the fact that Mighty Blow. You know, it's just not as good as Adj, is it, really? And obviously, two two ghouls compared to one. There's a big difference. Yeah, it's never, it's not over, Star. You can still win with four zombies on the field. Never give up. God knows if he conceded here, he'd be a terrible human being. And worthy of being banned for three seasons. No, I mean, to be fair, it actually makes more sense that he was banned for three seasons if he did concede here because there was another game after it. Yes. <laughs> Whereas yeah. with, with Paul, <laughs> there was literally no consequence to the fact that he conceded that game. Yeah, that was insane. That was absolutely insane that he got banned for that. Fucking nuts. If, you oh, know, no. if, it had been, if there was any money involved, then fair enough. You know, <laughs> like you know, like if it was, if it was, do you remember Ronnie O'Sullivan? He fucking played in some tournament, and like he just fucking walked out because he was pissed off. And it's yeah. like that's pretty fucked up because obviously most of the people there were paying just to see Ronnie O'Sullivan play, weren't they? And like most of the money from the TV was to see Ronnie O'Sullivan play. <laughs> like it was pretty much like he is that much of a draw, isn't he? So like that's pretty yeah. fucking horrific on his part doing that. But when it's a fucking pointless little kids game <laughs> like the yeah. competition doesn't matter at all <laughs> who cares if he concedes and he did save himself like 12 turns of just loss anyway mm -hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, that was it. He was just gonna lose. Like he was, you know, it's like he was four one down or something. He just thought, "Fuck this," and just walked out. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie denying himself a one four seven. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> PC, that's good. Still would be unbearable if he won and try is already unbearable. <laughs> It definitely feels like random events have won this one, unfortunately. Yeah, it's definitely been an absolute dicer. Um, but, you know, that's not to say that Try isn't a good coach and uh, defended the ball brilliantly and absolutely didn't deserve to be turned over. <laughs> um, but I, don't know, I wasn't paying attention then. But he's a good, he's a good player, isn't he? Try, so, and his team was, I think his team was marginally better. Marginally. I mean, it is when Swart and Heat removes half his opponents. Yeah, it becomes a lot better then, yeah. When your opponent <laughs> rolls six, five out, of, five out of 11 ones, then it becomes a lot better. <laughs> uh, Try will be playing Andy Davo in the final, almost certainly. Almost certainly. Like, he does have to have a game first, but if he loses that, I'll eat my hat. I don't even have a hat to eat. I'll buy a hat and eat it on stream. I mean, just I quietly, I think Sindane's pretty damn good at Blood Bowl. To be he honest. is good at Blood Bowl, but he's got fucking Burts. And have you seen Davos team? Yeah. <laughs> but if he, I mean, it, yeah, probably, yeah. Like, have you, have you seen his team? <laughs> <laughs> he's got to be, he's got to be mean, insanely Rick took, nice. Yeah, Rick took, like, Davo all the way to the wire with, like, arguably, like, I would say a pretty weak team. Yeah, but I mean, that was a combination of dice and Devo just letting him score. <laughs> like, that was weird. Yeah, that was a bit bizarre, yeah. <laughs> it was a bit bizarre, won't I? Mm. And uh, Rick rolled it, yeah, like seven red dice pals. Like. Yeah, like, the, the, you wouldn't expect the humans to outbash the orcs in that game, would you? You know, with even dice. That was... <laughs> That was very much, that was very much uh, unnatural dice that the that the humans outbashed the orcs. The peasants do have fend. It's basically irrelevant. Yeah, so Sindane may have Griff, and Griff could win the game. Like obviously he's got a chance, but it's it's a really fucking small chance. He's got to dice the pants off Dave. He's got to get like five out of eleven fail swell and heat kind of <laughs> kind of result, and a riot to stop his two turn chance and stuff like that. Oh my god! Yeah, well, now you mention it, like that's pretty horrific, isn't it for Stora? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like maybe he doesn't score anywhere, you know, a two turner with no re rolls. There was a good chance of him. There wasn't much chance of him scoring the two turn with the rules to be able to stop it and everything. So, like, he didn't have much I of a mean, chance like, to get the thing the is, turn. the funny thing is, is though, like, if he didn't have the two turns, he would have settled for the one turn. So, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. It's like, it's just like, I don't know. Like, the fact that you get the two turns, you don't settle for the one turn, and then the riot just eats your chance anyway. Yeah, it was certainly unlucky. I mean, like, I love Try, but like every game I've seen him play, <laughs> it just has been ridiculous. <laughs> like his first game against the Lizards, where he like murdered the whole team by like turn five, and then it was like he played against that Chaos guy who just literally, I don't know what he was thinking or what he was doing. I don't really remember any of the other games to be fair. So he's he's literally. This is literally the third time he's qualified, and he's he's going to be in the final. <laughs> yeah, for the second time, he's already won it, hasn't he? Yeah, he it, that's it? fucking crazy, isn't it? Oh, the other time was with Wood Elves, wasn't it? And he beat he beat Martin, wasn't it? Lizards. He, he, he won it? with Lizards. Yeah, he won with Lizards, and then I think he got to like the second round with Woody. So I can't remember who beat him. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, there is the Taco Tortilla. Tortilla. Taco Tortilla. Oh, Taco. I don't know about tacos or tortillas, I think they're a bit naff. Pit of breads is where it's at. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm a bit, a bit sad because this second half's just been a complete non event. Yeah, it's been pointless, hasn't it? Yeah. Absolute bloody dicing. And yeah. it's like every time I see these guys like playing against each other, I'm always like excited and then Blood Bowl <laughs> just finds a way to rob it away from us. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's not. That's not tackle. Tacoto. Oh, I only played one game of that. So that Have you been to America, Jim? No. Uh, and nor will I. Why? I don't <laughs> want to get shot. <laughs> I don't like getting shot. How do you know, Jim? You've been shot? I just don't want to get shot. I, mean, I don't know that I would dislike it, but... I, don't I mean, if I was American and you came to my country, I think I'd shoot you. So, yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to get stung by a wasp either. So, like, you know... Um, I you don't, don't have any sugary hurts. drinks outside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know You've that it hurts. You've never been stung by a wasp. I've never been stung by a wasp. No. That's that is uh, an amazing fact. Every time there's a wasp or a bee near me, I scream and run inside like a little girl. <laughs> but I've never been stung, and I don't know how much it would hurt. But uh, and it's funny because my friend, my friend at school, was like, he was completely undis undisturbed by wasps, and he's like, it was just little. It wouldn't hurt, would it? And oh, I thought, does, yeah. that's, a good, that's a good shout actually, I thought, yeah, maybe. So he never got stung either, because he was completely unbothered by them. Whereas it's the people who like panic a bit that get stung, isn't it? Whereas... Oh, they've landed in my hair. Like, when I was a kid I had gel, so like they landed on my hair, and then they couldn't get out, and then I've like gone to brush, <laughs> like, cause it feels like something drops on your head, you don't know it's a wasp. So you go to brush it off, and then it stings your finger. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm glad it didn't sting my head, because God knows what that would have felt like, but yeah, I've had, I've had my finger stung twice, it's the same scenario. Because you know, like, hair gel smells like fruity and stuff, and it, like, you get the fructus one. You know? <laughs> right. You've got fruity hair gel. <laughs> well, I used to, I don't, I don't even bother now, mate, I just shave my head. Like, mm. <laughs> don't need to impress anyone anymore, I've got a kid and a missus, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there look at that, he's got... Jim 5 with, the, with a truth bomb there, look. <laughs> Jimmy would be exactly the type of signal that an American would shoot just by looking at him. How is it, thank God for the Fifth Amendment or whatever it was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Rather stay in the UK instead. No, I don't know, I just I don't fancy going to America. Like, I don't know, it's, it just doesn't appeal to me at all. Look at those, five armor breaks versus six. That was a pillow fight. Yeah. But Oops. but but Tri still managed to make five crucial removals in the second half somehow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was brutal. But like I thought Tri would minimize the impact of the mighty blows on the wolves. So like Yeah. So I felt like that was gonna happen anyway. So I did I did give Tri the self the, the the you know, the kind of the slight edge, but then obviously it was an absolute dicing, wasn't it? <clears throat> it was, uh... It was interesting. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't Toxic really, was it? Hello, Zaz. Diego Zaz is in chat. Why? <laughs> it Why? Wasn't, wasn't really interesting. But there you go. It, <laughs> it was basically a fly trap. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very exciting, but, uh... You know... Thanks for telling us it was on and that, so I could do it live. And thank you, Dimmy, for joining us. Absolutely glorious to have you on. Yeah, no problem, Jim, mate. I, I would say I enjoyed it, but, you know. Yeah, it was shit. Uh, congrats, Try. <laughs> Commiseration store. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.